who the hell's a new video? You know, the one I should have made like a week ago about game design stuff? Well, unfortunately, my productivity comes in like waves. I've been trying to find out how to deal with it for years, honestly. I'll do like a crazy amount of work in a super short amount of time, but then I'll get nothing substantial done for like a week. I think part of the problem is just the working for yourself aspect of it. I mean, no one's holding me accountable for getting a video done. Having a level of self-discipline is pretty difficult, especially for me. I mean, look at me. I wouldn't be this fat if I could actually force myself to go to the gym, but here I am. Maybe it's not even that I can't get things done. It's just that I put a lot of work into preparation, but then the actual work suffers for it. For example, I mean, like this whole setup right here is part of something I'm working on that's not related to game design at all. It's a new series for the channel. But because of that, the game design stuff has suffered. It's still in my mind and I know what I want to do, but it's just the act of sitting down and starting the thing that is usually the problem. Actually solving the problem itself is a great feeling, one of the best feelings, but it's just the getting to that point that's a problem. Even this video, for example, before I started writing the script for this, I just fucked around and watched like five YouTube videos. I'm not quite sure what's wrong with me. The plan for the next video, or at least the next game dev video, is for the VR project. And for clarity, the original plan for the VR project was a outdoor forest-like exploration thing with medieval twist. But because the way I design things, it was too heavy for VR. So then I wanted to make it some kind of medieval questing type thing where you would be in like a town and you would get like a quest and you go to a dungeon and fight something. But my combat design is clearly my worst area of design expertise. So I wanted to make something simpler, which is how we ended up with the medieval town VR experience thing anyway. But I might end up making it something else entirely. Still VR, of course, and still medieval, but I want it to be more interactable. Picking things up and throwing them around and playing with physics is cool, but I think I have an idea for something that's going to be much more interactive and more of a sandbox type experience. I've also been thinking a lot about platforms. If any of you have not tried the Oculus Quest, I can't recommend it enough. It is an incredible piece of hardware. VR games by their very nature today are not the most high quality. I mean, sure there are examples of like Half-Life Alex and Robo Recall looking amazing, but those are by AAA studios. The smaller studios are focusing more on what seem like experiences, things that you just can't do in anything but VR. And with the smaller scale of indie studios, or just smaller studios in general, you get older graphical styles or more stylized approaches. And those are perfect for the Oculus Quest. The Oculus Quest is powerful enough to run something like an Xbox 360 style game on that size and scale. Of course, there are limitations with lighting and some stuff like that, but none of that can really be accomplished right now by tiny studios. A AAA studio could do it, but they just haven't yet. The hardware is there and it can run it standalone without a PC connection. Don't get me wrong, PC VR is fantastic. The Quest is not going to beat the HTC Vive Pro or the Valve Index in terms of pure visual quality of games. But the ability to actually run a game untethered from a PC has something going for it. I mean, the HTC Vive wireless adapter is fantastic, but you're not going to go to someone's house and stick the PCI card into their computer. The point is, I'm really going to try to fit my style of game onto the Quest. I've done a lot of experiments and tests to see what I can really do, and it's going to be tough, but I think it'll be worth it. Anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, even though this isn't really the type of content you're probably here for, and I'll see you in the next video.